It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to use a whole number, and then we're going to find 25% of that whole number and one-third of that whole number. Here's our question today. A student had 500 milliliters of water in a water bottle. She drank 25% of the water before soccer practice. After practice, she drank one-third of the remaining water. And we're asked, how much water in milliliters does the student have left in the bottle? Now, if we were on a computer, we would adjust the slider by dragging the arrow to the correct height to show the amount of water left in the student's bottle. So here is that slider, but neither you or I am on a computer here, so we're going to have to do it. I'll do mine in color. You're going to do yours with pencil at home. So here's where you pause the video, you do your best work, and then come back and compare your work to mine. Good luck. Welcome back. Once again, reviewing. We want to know how much water in milliliters does the student have left in the bottle. So when we start this problem, the student has 500 milliliters of water. So you can see I filled it with that blue coloring. So the water bottle is filled to this line 500 milliliters. The first thing that happens is that she drinks 25% of the water before her soccer practice even begins. So we want to find 25% of the 500 milliliters that are in the bottle. So when we think about 25%, 25% 25 is 25 one hundredths, which simplifies to one fourth. So one fourth of 500, we can do some mental math. If we change 500 to 400, one fourth of 400 is 100, and we have that extra 100 we took away. And a fourth of 100, fourth of a dollar is 25. So we know that one-fourth, or 25% of 500, is 125. So that means she drank, if she drank 25% of the water, she drank 125 milliliters. So we're going to reduce, from 500 milliliters, we're going to reduce, she drank 125 milliliters. 500, 125 milliliters brings us to 375 milliliters. Now, the second thing that happened is after her practice, she drank one-third of the remaining water. The remaining water is 375 milliliters. So we want to find one-third of the 375. We're going to do more mental math. We want to find one-third of this. So we want to divide this into three equal groups. So let's look at the 300. That would be three equal groups of 100. And then we have the 75. Well, 75 in three equal groups would be 25 each. So 125 again. So 25% or one fourth of 500 is 125. And one third of 375 is also 125. So that means before practice, she drank 125 milliliters, which dropped her to 375. And then after practice, she drank another 125 milliliters. And 375, subtract that 125, brings us to 250 milliliters. So the amount of water left in her bottle at the end of her drinking after practice is 250 milliliters of water. And there you have it. That is how we find 25% of a whole number and one third of a whole number. And that's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you'll come back soon.